We're here at Blessed Sacrament Parish. We are Change LA to meet someone who has been nicknamed the Black Pope. He's actually the Jesuit general and uh, his name is Very Reverend Adolfo Nicholas S.J. <laughs> We're here to say hi and talk to him about his nickname and uh, his uh, extreme oath of the Jesuits. Adolfo Nicolás, otherwise known as the Jesuit Black Pope, is a mystery man who almost never steps out of the murky nether world of end times intrigue. He is the 30th and current Superior General of the Society of Jesus, the largest religious order in the Roman Catholic Church. You just came out of a campaign, election and the inauguration of a new president. And you know, and I partially only from the sidelines, we have been exposed to one year and a, and a half of words and words and words and words. Political or literary or even religious words. Because also religious words have been manipulated, used with such abundance for things that were not real that we get tired of them. The prophet comes as one who sees things with the eyes of God, because the prophets bring also the shadow side of reality. And they tell us also where things are not going to the, according to the heart of God. And they speak of the anger of God and the sadness of God. We live in a world that has become so difficult that people do not know anymore where the causes are of the pain or of the, the distress or the difficulties we have with globalization, now responsibilities are diluted. And nobody knows who is behind anything. Oh, now you can take your picture with him and everything. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be uh, having a video check to get you two together while you're asking me why he's a black man. I should point that out, how liberal everything is. Hello, I really, really enjoyed your service. Thank you so much. I was wondering, I had a couple of questions. I was wondering if you could clear something up for me. Maybe later, because... Uh, oh, just, now real, are just really quick. Why do they call you the Black Pope? Oh, that's uh, that started in the 19th century. Did it really? Yeah, but I don't like it because no. it's in terms of power. Yeah. No, yeah. So they thought that the general of the Jesuits had a lot of power, but he really wears black, so black pope. Oh, maybe. Well, the, but yeah. I'm not pope, and, and you I don't have, have no a power. Fish on you. And, and I see that there's a lot of liberal symbols here. Um, one of the things in your in your Jesuit high oath, I think it is, it says something about. Furthermore, you promised to declare that we'll, at the first opportunity, um, seek war at any opportunity against heretics, Protestants, liberals. What is that? See here, and that that uh, will spare neither age nor sex nor what, condition, what, what and I will hang, I, waste, I, boil, flay. You've never seen that. this before? No, I've never seen it. Strangle, bury alive, oh, and it's horrible. It's and I was like, oh, look at me. It's, it's in the congressional record. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Can I get a, get a picture? As long as you don't do this. Okay. Okay. Can I get a picture? Uh, it's up to him now because yeah, he's Oh, okay. He's got Can I just with you? Sure. Okay. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you.
But he was very confused. He didn't. He'd never seen it before. I told him it was in the congressional record. And he he said that he might talk to me later about it. But there, there was a big line. So do we want to wait and talk to him later about it? Uh, just so that you know what I was asking him. I furthermore promise and declare that I will, when opportunity presents to make wage relentless war, secretly or openly, against all heretics, Protestants, and liberals, as I am directed to, to extirpate and exterminate them from the face of the whole earth, and that I will spare neither age, sex, or condition, and that I will hang, waste, boil, flay, strangle, and bury alive these infamous heretics rip up the stomachs and wombs of their women and crush their infants' heads against the walls in order to uh, annihilate forever the ex exorable race. And then it goes on to say some other s stuff. But you can look this up. It's on the Internet. I, I just want to read this on camera real quick and just trying to find a private moment. He okay, said that I could talk to him afterwards okay, when the line was not so uh, busy. You need to go outside with all that. Okay. Because right now he's not going to read nothing because he's going to go somewhere else. Oh, okay. So will you have him fully scheduled? Because he said he'd talk to me afterwards. He probably doesn't know his own schedule, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. So I need you to go outside. You can't take pictures in here, okay? Well, there's a lot of people you didn't, taking get, you didn't get permission to have a camera, okay? So thank you. Okay. Do you think we were bothering you? I think so. With your letter now. Okay. okay. We can't have that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. But she's trying to clear something up. I know. But now's not the time. <laughs> it's never the time. I read recently an article, and the title was, I am so happy we have a, a financial crisis, a very strange title. And the point of the article was that we have been living, we have been living a false reality. We have li been living a false economy, false relationships, false projections. And now the crisis brings us down to reality and to realize that simple life is what is needed. We need simple life, but a shared life. Simple life full of compassion so that nobody around us suffers and has the difficulties that many are going through today. This is prophetic. And I don't speak about the political authority of people with power. It's not pure muscle, it's not pure energy that moves things. It's a world that can move hearts, that can move people. Hi, Jeremy, nice to meet you. Thank you for what you said about liberation theology. I wanted to know whether you would say a word. A lot of the people around the world know that the attacks on 9-11 were an intelligence black op. And so we are wondering whether you would say a word to support a, a real investigation that would get to the bottom of it, because it seems to have set off a, a, a fake holy war or a this religious war. It's very difficult to know. No, but we know. We know that bin Laden didn't do it, and uh, we know that there are both Zionist networks, I'm a Jewish man, and there are also Jesuit networks that are helping you cover it up. Will you say something, sir? We thank you very much for coming. Uh -huh. we Will you it. say something about? Oh, probably about not. That's probably That's not. It. Thank you very much. Well, because this where, is not the where are the? Where is the well, proper forum, sir? Where are the real sir, religious people sir, that are willing to stop the killing, sir? Where are the real religious people sir, that will stop the killing? I know you need to vote. You how many? Vote. How many innocent people, Jews, Christians, Muslims, need to die before the religious people will tell the truth? You need to go. You need Come to go. on. You need to go. Where, where is the proper, you need to if go. a religious function is not go. the proper place for truth, where is the proper place for truth, ma'am? Where is the proper this place for truth? The time and place for it, where is the proper place for truth know, in, the, in, a religious, in a religious community? I can't where, get into it. Here's the thing, ma'am. We know that those those attacks in 9/11 were done by intelligence networks. I'm a Jewish man. I know that there were there was Israeli networks involved, and we know they were.